everybody here, my name is Ruthie. I am currently 34 weeks pregnant, as you can tell. Um, I'm very pregnant. Um, but I am getting induced in three weeks. Um, I have gestational hypertension and history of preeclampsia. So I am getting induced at 37. Um, my other two pregnancies I've had in the past, my first one I did freezer meals, and thankfully I did them at like 35 weeks. My second one, I did it at 35 weeks, but this one I'm doing at 34 weeks. And honestly, it's just one less thing that I have to do. And I'm really excited. Um, I will say, so my last two videos that I have on my channel, freezer meals for baby are five years old and three years old. And let me tell you, food prices, <laughs> food prices have gone up. So in those videos, I've done like 23 meals for like $75 or 23 meals for like $78. I have 10 meals for $115. That just show how expensive food has gotten. Um, it's a little crazy. But the chicken was the most expensive. Um, but it is what it is like. But I have 10 meals. Um, I'm not planning on really repeating any of the meals. I may repeat one or two of them, I'm not sure. So if that's the case, I may have more, but I'm showing with you 10 different recipes. In the past, I've never done any other freezer meals. I've only done the crock pot meals, which is what today's video is. But I do have another video either coming or already up on my channel, and it's gonna be like pre-cooked meals, um, like lasagna, meatballs, meatloaf, um, chicken and broccoli, taco casserole, uh, some soups and all that stuff. So if you haven't seen that one, check it out. Or it may be coming soon. I don't know which video is gonna go first. Um, it's probably gonna be those videos first, but anyways, I will let you guys know, so stay tuned. So I have, like I said, 10 different recipes. These are my favorite recipes. I know my family likes these. I personally kind of felt okay postpartum, but these are just really nice to have for the days that you don't know what the heck to make for dinner, but you gotta feed your family. So. These are the 10 meals I have. I have chicken and gravy. This is one of my favorite meals ever. It's so freaking simple. Um, you just like throw it over mashed potatoes, side of broccoli, anything like that. A really hearty, yummy meal. Um, the next one is salsa chicken. Everybody loves salsa chicken, okay? Uh, I may make two of these ones, I'm not sure yet, depending on how much chicken I have left over. Um, but it's so simple and you can literally throw them over tacos, over nachos, over rice. You can make burrito bowls, you can make quesadillas with it, like it's endless. Um, and whenever I do the salsa chicken, I usually always have leftover. So, again, really great. Um, barbecue chicken, another one, my family loves it. You can just throw it with some like rice, mashed potatoes, a type of side like corn, anything like that. A lot of these are just throw and you just have to make like a quick side and when you have a newborn attached to you and you're tired you don't want to spend too much time in the kitchen so these are really great meals um the next one is hawaiian meatballs which is really yummy too again serve it with some rice serve it with some veggies um hawaiian chicken that's the one that i don't make too often but whenever i make it my family goes crazy over it especially my husband and he's like you need to make this more and i just never really think about it um, the next one is sausage and potatoes. I love sausage and potatoes. You guys know you know. We're also doing sausage and peppers. We're doing an Italian brown sugar chicken, a Mississippi chicken, and then a Cool Ranch chicken tacos. Again, chicken tacos, you can throw it over like anything. So again, I spent $115 on everything, which isn't really too bad. We got some stuff. So, um, we got chicken galore. And... all of my items in here that I need. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay everything out on my counter so I have everything and I can see everything. And then I'm gonna get going and I'll show you what I do with that next. So what I'm gonna do now is I got all my food here ready to go. So the next thing I'm gonna do is take my freezer bags. Um, nothing fancy, these are literally just like the great value freezer bags. 
and I'm just gonna get them all situated. But basically, like I said in all my other videos, you're just gonna go ahead and write today's date that you're prepping the food and then the contents of the bag. So for me, instead of the contents, I'm gonna write the meal itself. So again, these are my freezer meals. These are what I'm making um, today. Um, super easy if you want to screenshot it, go ahead. So we're just gonna go ahead and write these all down. Um, and this is the first step. Don't do it, don't fill it and then write it. It's just too hard. So it's easier to fill them out when they're empty. So let's see, let's go. What I'm going to do is a lot of these recipes are all really like free ingredients only. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and actually, I think, chop up everything. I got to clean up the chicken um, because there's kind of fat on this and stuff. So I'm going to like chop up my veggies. Really, it's just onions and peppers, sausage and potatoes. I have to chop up everything else is pretty much a dump and go. Um, but I'm going to prep that first, prep my chicken. And then I'll come back and I will show you guys how we're going to put everything in the bags. And then I will leave down below too these recipes. I'll leave exactly the names and the ingredients inside of all of these. Um, since I have a family of four, there's four of us to eat. Um, I'm only going to be doing about two to three pieces of chicken per crock pot meal. Um, we're not a huge leftover family. We don't really like leftovers too much. Um, so I'm going to try to keep them where it's only going to feed us for that one night, maybe an extra lunch. Um, keep it pretty simple. So like two to three breasts per bag. Um, if you have a bigger family, just keep that in mind. You're probably going to eat more pieces of chicken. Um, but yeah, let's get started. I did wash these potatoes, so I don't want to hear anything. Potatoes, I washed them. sausage and peppers and my sausage and potatoes. Other than that, don't need any onions. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the sausage and peppers, onions in this little contain, uh, bowl and then the sausage and peppers, onions in this bowl. So um, I'm just gonna chop up these two onions now and just put those in those bowls already. Okay, so now I'm going to be cutting up my sausage first, and again, I'm just going to toss them into each of the bowls already. Um, so, this one is pretty simple. Um, I also got turkey sausage. <laughs> I got turkey sausage. Um, use whatever kind of sausage you like. Uh, personally, I really like this one from Kroger. My eyes are burning. Right. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I like to cut mine down the middle and then I like to quarter them um, just because my kids are younger um, and it just helps me from not having to chop them later. So I just quarter them. So one in each of them. I'm 
actually going to start with my sausage and potatoes first because it's right here. We already chopped the potatoes, we chopped the onion, we chopped the sausage, and it's all in here. I'm just going to go ahead and put it inside of my bag. They do sell the stands that you can actually like put your stuff in. I don't have that, so we're going to use what we have in this bag with onion powder, garlic powder, and Italian seasoning. Um, and then um, to this bag, I'm actually only going to add um, a little bit of chicken broth in here. Um, not too much, but just like a squirt, just to kind of keep everything blended, I guess. <laughs> Does that make sense? And obviously, the day that I cook this, I'll probably end up adding um, like a cup of water to it um, to cook. But that's it. First meal. That second one, we're going to do the other sausage. Sausage and peppers. Get this out of the way. This is also here. We chopped up the peppers. Oops. We chopped up the onions and we chopped up the peppers, onions, and sausage. And then to this one, we're going to add one can of diced tomatoes. Um, this is the fire roasted one. You can use any kind of roast. You can use a spicy one if you like. This is the one that I'm going to use. Just dump that in there. And then that's it. Like, now I'm just gonna add a little garlic and onion to this one as well. And then obviously, day of, like when you put it in the crock pot, you can always mix it up. In. But always give your the freezer meals too, like a little good mix together. Um, and again, done. So easy. Like, we're already flying by. Two meals done. Hawaiian meatballs. I have a huge bag of meatballs. I got this huge bag, but we're not going to use it. This is actually one that I probably can do more than one, but I'm not going to. I probably should have a better area, but this kitchen island is so much smaller than my old house, so. And now to this one, we're going to add Hawaiian meatballs. We're going to do the pineapple chunks with the juice. I'm going to my cans over here so I can actually rinse them out and recycle them after. And then we're going to do some soy sauce. Um, about two tablespoons of soy sauce. I use Coco Aminos instead of soy sauce. Um, I measure my potatoes. Um, I use cocoa aminos. I don't use black pepper sauce. Um, and then we're going to do some brown sugar. I'm so excited to finally be getting these meals done. Um, I actually have a baby appointment later today. And I feel like I could possibly have him before my 37 week induction. So we'll see. I'm going to half of a cup of brown sugar. This is a fourth of a cup, so I'm just going to use two of them. And that is it, you guys. That's how simple these recipes are. Um, to get everything in there. That's it. I'll end up going in afterwards and taking all the air out of the bags, but um, it's just easier for now. Um, the next one we're going to do is chicken and gravy. I'm going to do three pieces of chicken breast in here. These are pretty large chicken breasts too. Um, so again, take that into consideration. And then this is so easy guys. One can of chicken gravy. One can of chicken, of creamy chicken. I hate cream chicken. I think it's so yucky. But it adds so much flavor, but ugh. The look of it, 
the sounds that I make. Good. That is it for creamy chicken. It is one of the easiest meals that you can ever make. Let me tell you, the flavor this one has looks disgusting. Looks disgusting. But oh my god, it's so good. And then the gravy that it has with the um, do on top mashed potatoes, so yeah. I'm gonna do the Hawaiian chicken next. Hawaiian chicken, I'm gonna do another three pieces of chicken first. And then I'm gonna actually do a can of crushed tomatoes. So this is more um, kind of like pureed, I guess. Put these in there. I'm also gonna do brown sugar in this one as well. Please man. I'm gonna do half of a cup of brown sugar. Um, give or take, I mean, you can do less brown sugar if you don't want it to be too sweet, too, so. But, I'm gonna do that. And then we're also gonna do half a cup of barbecue sauce into the Hawaiian chicken. I'm not going to measure the barbecue sauce, but if you're making it, it's about half of it. Um, but, I make these meals quite often, so I kind of know. Like, when I throw it in the crock pot, I don't measure, so. And again, it's gonna look like baby puke. <laughs> um, but it, the marinade, it just makes it so good. Um, let's give it a go. Next, I'm gonna do the barbecue chicken. I'm gonna do the barbecue sauce open. I'm gonna do three pieces of chicken. And these are so fast, so easy, like, Take the hour and do them. Barbecue sauce. Get about half a cup. And then half a cup of brown sugar. This one's actually really good one too. If you have like liquid smoke, I'll probably add it like day in the crock pot. So good. And then this one's it. This one I'll probably end up adding like a little bit of water once it's in the crock pot when it's cooking but I'm not going to add it to the yeah. barbecue chicken. So easy. <laughs> we'll do the Italian brown sugar chicken next. So if you have the brown sugar out, and do three pieces of chicken. Ow, I just pinched myself. And then for the Italian brown sugar chicken, we're going to do half a cup of brown sugar as well. We're gonna do Italian dressing. Um, you can use any kind that you like. Probably can do about like half of this. Um, just... And that's it. Hey guys, I should just probably call this like chicken marinades. But these are really easy meals. So three more to make. We're gonna do the Mississippi chicken next. Three pieces of chicken. And then we're gonna add um, ranch seasoning. Um, I'm just gonna add a good amount in there. And then pepperoncinis. So you actually need some of the juice of the pepperoncini and then a few of the actual pieces. So Anyone else just like eat them out of the dryer? When I was in college, me and my roommates was just like, we'll just eat them. And that is it for the Mississippi chicken. Um, this is one that I know once it's in the crock pot, it's actually really good. You add just like a full stick of butter into it. I didn't write it down on my meal because I know Mississippi chicken, I always add butter. Um, I'm pretty sure last time I, I freezer prepped it. I added the stick of butter. Honestly, I just feel like it takes longer to defrost. So um, I'll just add it day of. But yeah. Since we have the ranch out now, we're going to do the cool ranch chicken tacos. So I'm going to do two pieces of chicken. Um, I feel like chicken tacos, you don't need that much chicken because you shred it up. So I'm going to do 
that, and then we're going to do some ranch seasoning, and then we're also going to do some taco seasoning. These are about like, let's say like an ounce. You can even get like the packets if you want instead of measuring out yourself. Um, and we're also going to do some chicken broth in here. Again, you could probably just add it day of, but because I want this to kind of like marinate, um, to add a little bit and kind of give it a mix. And this is one super easy. Cook it on high for like four hours and you'll have yourself some chicken tacos. So yeah. Salsa chicken next. I have one. I'm gonna do three breasts for this one because I only have three breasts left. Um, so three of them, and then we're gonna just do some of the taco seasoning. And then we're gonna do some salsa. You can get any kind of salsa you like. I do mild just because again my kids are eating this. Um, about half a cup. This is about like half of the jar. And this is a, how big is this? A 16 ounce jar, so eight ounces of salsa. That's it, you guys. We did it. <laughs> We're done. 45 minutes. It took us 45 minutes to do 10 freezer meals just like that. We're done. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, again, you could probably, if you wanted to do these meals, these are really simple meals, just double them. So you can literally, I'm fixing my hair, hold on. Um, you can literally make double the recipes. In the past two pregnancies, that's exactly what I did. I like doubled every single recipe that I had. Um, this time around, I didn't do that, and only because I live right next to my mom. So I know my mom's gonna be bringing me meals. Um, that's how my mom is. Like My mom literally lives up the street now. My past two pregnancies, I didn't live next to her. So she would cook for me while she was visiting and then when she left these meals came in handy but I know my mother <laughs> she's gonna be over cooking bringing me food I know her so uh, that's why I didn't want to go too crazy uh, I'm still gonna be making lasagna and meatballs I'm gonna be making like a taco casserole a chicken broccoli casserole um, I'm gonna make some soup so I still have some stuff that I'm gonna be making but these are just gonna be really easy to just throw in the crock pot so 45 minutes $115, 10 meals, done. And I feel good. I feel So that concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this freezer meal prep before baby. <laughs> um, again, super easy. Definitely just takes some time and effort to meal plan, meal prep. Um, but honestly, it took me 45 minutes to chop everything up um, and throw them into the bags. Um, I'll leave everything down below and exactly what I used. Um, so that way, if you want to go ahead and make these exact meals, you'll know exactly what to buy at the grocery store. You can honestly just do um, a click list like, or like a pickup order, order everything online while you're watching this video, and then go ahead and have it delivered to your house or pick it up and then it'll be that much easier for you guys once you're ready to make these meals so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already um there will be a few more freezer meals um before baby um and then yeah i hope you guys enjoy see you guys in the next one bye